Okay, let's talk about Greg Chalmers for a second. Uh, this is truly a remarkable story, taking a 48-year-old golfer, make him faster than he ever was in his career, and be pain-free. He defies two of the main misconceptions about swing speed in the golf world. One, that swinging faster will hurt you in some way, hurt your back. Uh, two, that, you know, speed is relegated to the young guys and it's not possible for old guys. So when we talk about Greg, he came to us a couple years ago, uh, I think it was in 18. Um, he was having to take a medical leave from the tour for a year because of severe back pain. He couldn't finish tournaments and he couldn't swing a club really. He came in at about 106 miles an hour swing speed, which is seven miles per hour below tour average. He was severely limited in his hips and spine and his mobility and uh, he had a torn ligament in his uh, between his facets and his back and he has arthritis in three, uh, between three discs. So pretty much, uh, he, he was basically taking it off to see what can I do and can I possibly get back to playing. Uh, so initially there was not a focus on swing speed. The goal was to get playing pain, pain free golf. So while he worked with his medical team on his ligament and his arthritis, um, we basically went about trying to free up his hips and his spine so he could actually rotate because he couldn't rotate. Um, his hip rotation went from 13 to 30 degrees. We used FRC protocols of pails and rails, which is a very uh, long specific mobility protocol for, for hips, which made a dramatic change. Uh, we also uh, saw an improvement from 42 to 58 degrees of total spine rotation. So you're talking about significant change in mobility. At the same time, his doctor uh, changed his arthritis medication and reduced his pain and he, and he got some PRP to heal his ligament. So a year later, he's playing. He's, he went out and uh, played the Australian Open again. He came out of rehab six miles an hour faster, 113 miles an hour, about two or average, doing really well, was able to play and practice day in, day out. And around the turn of 2021, we got the produce machine, and so he was one of the first players we tested, and he came out pretty average on his power, and but his legs were, were very low on, on his power and explosion. And so we realized at that point in time, hey, we've rehabbed, we've built foundational strength, it's time to get fast. So we put them on a velocity-based weight program with uh, uh, Kaiser machines and dumbbells doing them quickly, uh, med ball work, a lot of that kind of stuff. And he jumped and uh, he got better. Uh, when we retested his Proteus in the fall, um, he had made significant changes in uh, just about everything and showing elite power in his lead shoulder and his uh, core for rotation. Legs were better, but still lagging. So then we decided to put him on some aggressive contrast training using flywheels and Proteus to contrast the eccentric and, and concentric focuses of, of uh, muscle speed, contraction speeds and loading. And within a month or two, he had an all-time peak of 120 miles an hour. There it is, again, two times in a row. He's never swum that in his life. Seven miles above tour average for a 48-year-old golfer with back pain. I mean, it just defied everything. It caught huge traction on social media. TPI retweeted it and posted about it. Um, Golf.com picked it up and ran a story on it because it truly is amazing to take a 48-year-old golfer, make him faster than he ever was in his career, and be pain-free. And just those two things just typically don't go together. He's hitting the ball 50 yards further than he did when he came to us. And his, uh, his caddy says they're reaching places on the courses he's never been able to reach in his career. It's truly amazing to go from having to quit because of back pain to getting better and then being 14 miles an hour faster after and older. It's just, it's great. It really shows uh, what Proteus can do from an evaluation perspective and what, uh, how it empowers the trainer to uh, take their clients to another level.